What's up guys, it's Dave from Cigar Noise TV and tonight we're going to be reviewing a cigar that is very timely. It's from Sentinel Cigars and it's the Fallen Hero. Not only is today Veterans Day, but it's also Armistice Day, which is where in the 11th hour of the 11th day on the 11th month, conflict resolved itself on the western front of World War I. Sentinel Cigars is a really cool organization because they are nonprofit, and that means that their profits go to support veterans. In fact, they support several different charities, including one that houses veterans that were separated medically while they go to school. And they also have a really neat program for service dogs. You can find out more about their program by clicking the video links in the description. We received this cigar from IPCPR, but other than that, I know absolutely nothing about it. In fact, it's almost a ghost cigar if you search for it on Google. But that's not going to stop us. We're going to give it a whirl today and see what's up. Now when I think of the fallen hero, I think of something that's bold and bigger than life. But in this case, this cigar starts off very mild, gentle, there's a little bit of spice that hits the back of the throat, but overall it's all peanuts. We're talking chocolate covered peanuts, roasted peanuts, sweet boiled peanuts. Burning down further, we're getting cherries cordial out of this thing right now. And I've got to say that it's firing on way more cylinders than I expected initially. Entering the second and third, several transitions happen. First, peanuts go away. Second, chocolate comes out bolder than before, this time more as a baker's chocolate. Third, I'm getting a lot of leather in this segment. And finally, as mild as the beginning was, the second and third is even milder. However, if you're the type of person that enjoys a short finish, this cigar finish is clean and smooth on the palate and there's almost no aftertaste. And what is there is rather enjoyable and slightly sweet. The last third has yet another transition for us. Before it was very smooth and clean and gentle, but now we're getting palatable cream on the roof of the mouth and the tongue. Dark chocolate, cherries, and almond marry together to make this my favorite third so far. And the body really comes together at this point, providing satisfying amounts of deep, rich flavor. Right about here, I'm getting a lot more dark chocolate and it's turning kind of bitter on me. So we're gonna call it a night with this one and get into the likes and dislikes. Going into this cigar review, I had no idea what to expect because it's a ghost. I don't know anything about the blend, I couldn't detect much from the pre-light inspection, and realistically that made me expect that it would suck. But I was pleasantly surprised with excellent construction, maintenance-free burn line, an easy draw with plenty of smoke output, and ultimately a very mild, pleasant cigar experience. If you like mild cigars and you want to support veterans, this is your cigar. If you want to absolutely nub a cigar, this may not be for you, bro. The bitterness at the end with about an inch or maybe a little bit less wasn't a big deal for me, but there are definitely some people that that would be a no-go for. But aside from that, the body in the second and third went away pretty drastically, and that's points off for sure. To view my rating, the community ratings, and to rate the cigar yourself, check out the links below and visit CigarNoise.com. As always, thank you for watching.